Officer, a word, please. <clears throat> Ma'am, I need to report to the station, so. Who gave you permission to speak to that gentleman? I, uh, I apologize, ma'am. I didn't realize I needed your permission to have a conversation with a citizen in your house. Fair point. My problem is what you said and how you said it. I just spoke the truth. You stated an opinion. Which, it's fine. That's your right. But when you're in that uniform, it's your responsibility to put your personal opinions aside and do your job. Understood, ma'am. Is that all? Look, I know that it's impossible for us to regulate the good old boy chatter in the locker room and in the squadron car. But when you're in my caban, you will treat everyone with positive respect and authentic professionalism. Is that clear? Copy that, ma'am. Your house, your rules. Yes. Sorry if I was... You know, you're not in my department. But if I can give you a little personal advice. Things are changing. Slowly. But for the better. And... It's important that we in the LAPD be at the forefront of that change. And even though that you are the reflection of this positive intentional inclusion into diversity, it's counterproductive for you to reflect the ideas and, and, and attitudes of the past that we're so trying hard to bury. You're absolutely correct, ma'am. Yeah. I'm not in your department. Wow. I see. Hmm. Well, in that case, overall it's better for you, officer, to take your coffee breaks at your station and not in my campaign. Too bad you've got some pretty killer coffee here, even with the whiff of political correctness that comes with it. Is there something that you want to say to me, officer? Huh? No, ma'am, I think you and I have said everything we need to say to each other. I'm sorry if I hurt the feelings of your terrorist. Good luck with him, and with the community relations. I'm gonna go hit the streets and do some actual police work, if you don't mind. Why, you little shit. <laughs>